Hi guys! Hi! What? Hi. We're starting a little late tonight because we were at the water park. Sorry, my ear was assaulted. <laughs> you want me to assault your ear some more? That wasn't you. Hi! I thought you were going to bite it or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, last we left off, we had started the sun route. We did the full moon event. Um, we started this, we, we got Kodamaru, and, and we're on summer break, and we started the route that's going to break me, and tonight we're going to talk to some people. Nah. Or not. No! I don't want to talk to you anymore. Go away, I guess. Hi, Kutsuki. Oh yeah, any requests tonight? Um, Targana. I don't want to hear that your grades have fallen because you are spending too much time at Tartarus. There will be nothing I can do to help you. So study hard and do your best in summer school. Please don't do that again. You asked for it, though. Oh, that was in character. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm confused oh, yeah. by my feelings. That what is a Targana? It's a character in Archangelica, too. Do you know what she said? Targaryen? Yeah. I heard that. Don't forget that you are a student, and students are supposed to study. Use this time to increase your academics. Bitch! My academics are maxed out! I can! You already said that, never mind. However... Oh, no, never mind, we already did that. The feather man? Yeah, we did that last week. <sighs> Akihiko has nothing new to say. Get Mutatsu ready. Um... Baby, lemonade me, please. <laughs> I should hate you for that for some reason. Oh, right, the old man. Kayla, stop begging for those because that is not for you. Uncle Jeff gave me two. Mm -mm -mm. Not the no bars. More. Oh. Where is my snacks, by the way? Thank you. Kayla, lay down. We gotta move the shit. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Crinkle, crinkle into the mic. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Hold on. I have to get into the voice. Heavy! There we go. <clears throat> I was just thinking you might show up and hear you all. Hey, don't get me wrong, kid. It's not like I was looking forward to seeing you or anything. Well, fuck you too. Still, your skin's shiny. What are you putting on it? It's damn bright! Why are you looking at my skin? Who can fucking miss it? <laughs> well, in terms of brightness, my head won't lose. Yeah, Kubo. Why don't you give it a try? The bald look. Um, I like my hair. I mean, I've always wanted to try that. I like that earnest answer, kid. Looks like you get 20% of what I'm saying. I'm not talking about fashion here. I'm saying you better be, you'd be better off without your hair. Oh, sure. You're young and good looking now, but just wait. Excuse me. I mean, look at me. I'm old and ugly. 
My cheeks sag like a damn bulldog. He's right. That's life, kid. People get old. Someday you'll be just as old as me. Look at that face, Uncle Jeff. Please don't die. Also, please give me your food. Please give me some bacon jerky. You look in the mirror and think. Those were the days. Here's a little trick so you don't lose hope in the future. Just. Just bleh. Yes. Don't mm -hmm. die. Figure out what I'm saying in a second. I'm trying not to die. Oh, coupon. Just don't expect any nothing simple, eh? Well, and that way you won't ever be disappointed. How not to lose hope. Don't have hope. You can't lose what you don't have. You're gonna turn into bones one day, so why bother with the, with it all now? I don't think anyone wants to be, wants to be a bone analyst. If you weren't oh. so wet behind the ears, we could have had one more of an adult's conversation. I wish you could could have been ten years older when I met you. I know. <laughs> I felt Mitatsu's kindness. I Speaking. understand Mitatsu better now. Speaking Jesse. of, has anyone ever seen that anime, Beautiful Bones? Oh, yes! No. no, but it sounds interesting. No. You should watch it. You'd like it, Kagami. What, what is about? it about? About a forensic investigator who's fascinated by uh, human bones or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Oh. In oh. Japan. It does sound like bones. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's... So Japan took the show Bones and made it an anime. Sure. <laughs> really? But gave the person who is bones more of a character. What? Is all my talking putting you to sleep? Yes. No. <laughs> well, you can't sleep here, kid. Go home. Bye. I need more drink, please. I already did a drink run. God damn it. <laughs> Would you pour me a glass of my snackle, please? I guess. Go down anyway. I love you. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I don't feel as old as a guy. I just, just... I'm older. It's the first day of summer school. Now going up here. Despite yeah. the heat, the lecture continues. My academics has greatly increased. Get ready for five days of this, or possibly six. Strawberry juice. Um, Snapple. There's a thing of strawberry kiwi snapple in the fridge. The second day of summer school. Oh, God. Yeah, there's a lot of him. Right now. I know it's hot, everyone, but let's just fly and get through class. Focus, focus! So basically, we're going to summer school to learn nah. false. I just skipped one of his lines, I'm sorry. You must all be curious of something, something, something. I'm not really sure what to make of that. <laughs> because I didn't say it. Well, let's talk about something interesting today. All you future magicians will want to play close up play, 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 pay close attention. <laughs> Today's subject is tarot. That's right. Those cards often used in fortune telling. Is going to get real annoyed real quick with this one. Originating in the 15th century Europe as normal playing cards, tarot cards evolved into tools of divination. He's pronouncing it wrong on purpose. Don't get upset. 
I'm pretty sure they do pronounce it Tarot in Japan. Tarot, yeah. A variety of different versions of Tarot card decks exist, including the Marseille and the Rider decks. But today, in respect of the great magician Dr. Crowler, Crowley, we will be using the Sauce deck. Yes, it's a real deck. First, let's talk about the composition of the deck. The modern 78 card Tarot deck is composed of divided into two pots. <laughs> there are 22 maids of Arcana, and the face cards, and 56 minor Arcana, the number cards. The minor arcana are also sometimes called pips. The major arcana feature a variety of illustrations on their faces. Beginning with the fool and ending with the world. They tell a story in numerical order that is a metaphor of an individual's journey through life. She's down, she's fine back there. Kill it down. Help your boyfriend in. Yeah. Kill up. Pat. Sit. Stay. Sorry. I gotta make sure Kayla took in your spot. Mm. There. Each maze of our combo is at the stage on that journey. Mm. An experience that the individual must incorporate to realize his. Oneness. Oneness with what? They are all important, so let's take a look at each of the 32 cards one by one. The first card, number zero, is the Fool. It represents the beginning and suggests infinite possibilities. The oh, next... Yeah. The next card, the Magician. Represents action and initiative, but also Junpei Kun. I mean immaturity. <laughs> I was about to go Junpei. That boy fits him. Shh, you carry. <laughs> the priestess represents complimentation, compl contemplation, and inner knowledge. Huh? The Empress represents motherhood and the life it brings forth. The Emperor is an opposing card. It represents fathering and relates to leadership and decision making skills. No. No. He's a Toshi. The yeah. uh, student council guy. Oh, oh. God. The yellow font represents formality and knowledge, and stands for the Litten. Anybody? Uh, the old people? Yes, the old couple. The lover's card represents... Takebakun. Also a choice. Here, the individual's consciousness has finally surfaced. This chariot represents victory for the individual, but only a momentary one. Akihiko. Nope. Akihiko star. Oh. Thanks for giving it away before we got there. Ah, uh, <laughs> Rio. The volleyball team girl. Justice represents the knowledge of what is right and what is wrong. Especially helpful if you happen to be treasurer for the student council. Um, who's justice on the girls' side of the game? Ken. Ken, right. The helmet represents the individual search for answers by looking inward, deep inside his heart. The library check. Saudi, yes. Fortson represents fate and the opportunities that come with it. We haven't met him yet. Strikes represents both passion and self-control. It is depicted as power with reason. Kodo-chan. 
are the hanged man who represents the individual's inability to take action. I'll give you a hint. Cog in me, voice this, sir. Oh, um... What's her face? The other athlete. Nope. Is it the little girl? Yes! Maiko! Yuko is not a social link in this, in this side of the game. Spiritual death awaits the individual with the 13th card, which is aptly named Death. No. Isn't that what you Theros. Okay. Same. Hi. No. How because are you? Ryoji is a different card. Mm. Let's not spoil things for people. Death is considered a th 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 transitional card. The old ends and the new begins. Now let us continue along the path, following the transition. Temperance is the balancing of opposites. Opening his eyes to the world allows the individual to grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby. Baby. And as the devil represents, he then faces temptation. Kunoi. <laughs> no, uh, Tanaka. Yeah. At the tower, he sees his values collapse upon him! <laughs> it seems as if he no longer has anything to believe in. But! <gasps> the tower? No. The no. tower. The tower is heavy! The tower is the monk, yes. He then finds a glimmer of hope, represented by the star! And as he, he is He finds a glimmer of hope. The star finds a glimmer of hope. Akihiko finds a glimmer oh, of hope. Oh, fuck! <laughs> In his girlfriend. And he hey. is suffused with a serene calm. Well, it's the journey of the fool. The, this whole story talks about the, the fool's journey, which right. is the story in the in the tarot cards. Which is the story of the major arcana. Yeah. Accurate. This bliss makes him vulnerable to the illusions of the moon. We haven't met him yet. Mm. Fears arise, and he follows the dim path in his heart with trepidation. But... He is rewarded with a bright future, represented by the sun, which signifies true achievement. Diamond. Yes. Akinan. Judgment awaits the individual at the end of his journey as he looks back on the path he has traveled. Oh god, who's judgment? Blinking. Hold on. Judgment is... No. Judgment wouldn't be, uh... Shinji, would it? No. I Judge, don't. Judgment is everybody. Yeah, that's right. Judgment is everybody. Hell no. The oh. final card is the world, which represents the individual's full awareness of his place in the world. That is the growth, huh? I was just telling Ikoku, you'll see. That is the growth of an individual, as explained by the Trot cards. Perhaps all this talk about life doesn't hit home with you young folks just yet. Hmm. <laughs> Everybody else is bored out of their minds, meanwhile the main character is just sitting there insanely fascinated. <laughs> now you can use all 78 cards to divide the future in detail, even though I've only talked about 22 of them, but fuck you. But most people only use the 22 major arcana. Yeah, most people are wrong. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, now let's talk about how to tell fortunes using the major arcana. First, you'll need to shuffle the cards. If a card is reversed, its meaning will change, so it's important to toss them in the air and let them flip over and turn around and rotate and... No! No! Bad! Bad! Last are you going to flip them over if you just shuffle them tradi the traditional yeah, way? Three in a if, specific if, way. You, if you turn over the card and it's upside down, the meaning is reversed. 
Yeah, I, but you, uh, how are you, how are you going to get any of them upside down if you just shuffle them the traditional way? It happens. You'd be surprised. And I think some, I would be surprised. Some people don't even read them upside down. Yeah, some people don't. I tend to. I don't. You gotta shuffle them in a manner that has a chance of flipping them upside down. Mm. Not necessarily. It happens. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Logically, it couldn't happen. Depends on which way you pick up the deck. The card will always be fa the same. Cards will always be facing opposite each other. One yeah, way or the well, other. Yeah, well, the way you shuffle cards is not how you sh you sh the way you shuffle cards, babe, is not, not how, how you shuffle a tarot deck. Yeah. Well, like I said, you have to shuffle them in a manner that has a chance of turning them over. Logically. It also just kind of happens over time. Yeah. Now let's begin! Yay! How are you all handling the heat? I could brew you some of my special tea if you like. <laughs> I like some tea sounds delicious actually. You don't want his special tea. No, you don't. It's the, the stuff that, that gives you courage and, and and heals you if you're tired in the game. I know, but you don't know whatever the special tea is made of, so everyone's like, Don't drink it! I think it tastes good. It doesn't heal you, but it's so gross that it gives you courage just for drinking it. Right. Now, let's continue with our special summer study! The truth behind the magic. I'll be talking about Kabbalah. Oh. I assume all of you have at least heard of Kabbalah, yes? It is known as the mystical study of the Hebrew scriptures, but... As I have mentioned before, it has had a great impact on Western sorcery. Sorcerer. Sorry. It has been said that to learn the secrets of magic, you must first you must truly understand the Cabela. So, who was the person who formed this incredible ideology known as the Cabela? Well, according to legend, it was Moses. Yes, that Moses. The Moses who blah, 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 the Moses who gave us the Ten Commandments and split the Red Sea. Shing! Oh, I thought it was the other Moses. <laughs> <laughs> but in the alley was formulated by a group of rabbis long, long ago. Boring. However, because it consists of such a complicated coded system, Kabbalah did not become known to the Western world until much later. Now, it is important to note that there are many different ancient, ancient methods of deciphering Kabbalah. For example, there is Gematria, the interpretation of text by replacing letters with the numbers they represent. There is Notarikon, where you take a letter from each word to form another sentence or thought. There is also Timura, a method where letters of words are replaced, thereby giving the sentence a new meaning. All these different me methods make it difficult to fully comprehend Kabbalah. Now, one of the most important ideas of Kabbalah is the Tree of Life, formed of the Ten Sephiroth. Most illustrations depict it as a chart, shaped like a tree. That Sephiroth is vibrating. What? Oh god, no. The ten stages represented by the Sephiroth. And the twenty-two paths connecting them represent the stages of creation God formed from his own self. You know, as, what I want to play now. As well as the... the it is going to! Okay. Sorry, go ahead, babe. As well as the direction in which humanity should evolve. Oh, great. 
another asshole trying to control the evolution of humanity. Where did we come from? Where are we going? These answers lie in the Sephiroth. When training your magic, it's important to picture the Sephiroth every... <laughs> yes, it is. Where is it set? When training your magic, it's important to picture the Sephiroth every so often. Sephiroth's name comes from the Sephiroth. So Sephiroth vibrating. Picture him in your mind. <laughs> I'm just seeing him standing there, just. Buzzing. Yeah, just just like a picture. Think of one of those, one of those just like, uh, someone's recording video of just a drawn Sephiroth, and they're just shaking the paper. Or I'm picturing, I'm picturing something else. Good for you. Well, actually, that's a uh, Sephiroth dildo. Oh my! You know, we were trying to avoid. It wasn't. It's an adult show. You just have to say it. You don't have any more than me. Oh, where was it? Over here. Oh. When training your magic, it's important to picture the Sephiroth every so often. And when you are meditating, you should focus on the Sephiroth as well. Please continue. If life was a test, the Sephiroth would be the basic questions. All aspiring magicians should know them. So, if you're looking for inspiration, try your hand at the Sephiroth. <laughs> yes, By the way, did you all notice that I said there were 22 paths? Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. The same number as the Major Arcana I spoke about earlier! <laughs> uh... <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, sorry, I was picturing Sephiroth a little too hard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Pun very much intended. Hi. Now, continuing on, please. According to the Sephiroth, the world is broken up into four stages. What, 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 what? Oh, before I forget! I'll be giving supplementary license at the nurse's office! Starting in the second term. I'm thinking of doing demonstrations using drop cards. But I won't have time for that during the lecture. If you're interested, stop by after school. Everyone is welcome. <laughs> Mm. So last day of summer school. I'm free. Oh, Jim Pei, doesn't it feel great to be free? <clears throat> There's gonna be a summer festival at the shrine tomorrow. You going? Really? Well, I probably won't go. Oh no, why not? Of course, I am in a financial crisis. But even more importantly, I'd like to go to, go to events like this with a special girl. Not by myself. Nope. 
So ask the special girl sitting next to you. No. <laughs> Hi, Yukari! Hey, I uh, know I'm not going to say yes to him. Uh, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Senpai went out again. Aw. Uh, where did they get the energy? I wonder. I wanted to ask Akihiko Senpai something. <sighs> I kind of have a guess what I'm not going to ask. Um, I'm so tired. I think I'm going to go to bed early tonight. After a few games. Phone mm. games. Phone dating games. What shame are you playing? You I'm not play? ready to do this yet. Dating games. Nothing of your, uh, nothing for you to deal with. What's wrong? You can't get a date in real life? Oh no, yes I am ready to do that. Well, let's just say all the Let me guys talk to around me are petty. You're just not looking hard enough. Hi, I guess! I'm just ignoring you. I have learned the meaning of the Spring Festival. Spring? Summer. Summer. <laughs> she, had a glitch. she had a glitch in her memory bank. Some means like a very interesting event. I'm looking forward to wearing a special item of clothing called a mikata. This will be a new experience for me. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it too. <clears throat> Up, a report on the festival. The man riding on the portable shrine was knocked off. He was uninjured, but three of the shrine bearers underneath him were hospitalized. The in the inebriated man said, "If you're pissed off, try being the one on top." Woo! Kodomaru is looking at me pleadingly. Maybe I should feed him. I happen to have the dog food I made. Here you go, boy. Uh, right, many options. It's the first. Okay, you can eat. <laughs> Kodomaru began eating while wagging his tail. Hey, Kayla. <laughs> She's looking at you like, what the fuck? Why are you barking? Kodomaru keeps eating. Yeah. How does it taste? Not handling this well. <laughs> Kanamadu is still eating. That's not a exclamation. <laughs> Kanamadu has finished eating and seems satisfied. Pa Paw five. Kodamaru put his front paw on my hand. He seems a bit proud. Kodamaru doesn't seem cautious about me. Seems he's gotten quite attached to me. I sense a faint bond with Kodamaru. We have a bond with Kodamaru. We have the the girl side has a social Kodamaru. And now you have to voice it. Establish the Kodamadu social link of the Strength Arcana. Kodamadu is stretching contentedly. I spend a peaceful moment with Kodamadu. Hey, Kayla. Oh, God. Okay. <sighs> All right. I'm going to quickly save. Oh. We're going to do all of them. Oh, right. The summer festival scenes. We're going to do all of them, and then we're going to save Akihiko for last. So. Oh, there's only, like, 
There's four. Two. What, is Bebe one? No. How come Bebe in that one? Because you can't have a romance with Bebe. He's French, why the fuck not? <laughs> he <laughs> has <laughs> special circumstances. Come to think of it, there's a summer festival going on at Naganaki Shrine. The game can't, the game can't guarantee that you'll ah. be there around this time. Uh. Uh, my phone is ringing! <laughs> Hello? Hey, Kage? It's me. Hi, Jinpei. There's a summer festival at Naganaki Shrine today. If you've got nothing better to do, you want to go with me? Sure. Oh, seriously? Then see you later. I decided to go to the summer festival with Junpei this time around. Yeah. Should I wear a yukata for the occasion? Yes. Yes. I decide to go wearing a yukata. Let's let's drive Junpei nuts. I have come to Naganaki Shrine with Junpei. The shrine is filled with people eating food and playing games. Oh, looks like things are really getting going here. Are you one of those girls who gets all excited at festivals and stuff? Of course. Haha, <laughs> thought so. I know a festival lover when I see one. I mean, your eyes are all sparkling right now, too. Junpei seems to be having a lot of fun. But man, I love a girl in Utakata. Yep. Perv. Really look great in it, you know. Thanks. What makes it sexy is that it looks kind of hard to walk around in. And you ruined it. That's sexy. Yeah, I guess. And um, when will the, when um when geishas wore a thing, their um their kimonos are tighter around their legs, and they have to take little steps. And those little steps are considered were considered very very attractive. Mm -hmm. Must be a cultural thing. Yeah, it's like in Japan how the neck is considered very sexual. So the more neck you're showing, the more um, the more risky. Yeah, you yeah. Are. Seriously, why don't people just wear yukatas every day? Man, what if our school uniform was a yukata? Fuck that. Huh. <laughs> I bet Mitsuru Senpai would execute me for saying that. Ooh, Takayaki! We gotta get some. Okay. Hey, Kage, let's share one. Okay. Excuse me. One Takayaki, please. Put everything you got on it. Takoyaki Cook. Who was that? Was that you, Izumi? Did you do it during the, uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, it was, uh, it was, um... Happy. Happy voice. Yeah, go ahead. No, but Uncle Jeff was barking. Oh. Okay. Of course! Oh! What a cute girl you got there! Better not make her cry, or else I'll knife you. Whoa, that. Uh huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Girlfriend. Is that how we look to e to other people? Maybe. Travis is here. Hey, Travis. Hi. Hi. How? How? Jim Pei put a takoyaki in his mouth. Hot, hot. <laughs> ha ha. So hot. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like Markiplier. Jupe <laughs> is trying to say something. Hot! I thought my entire mouth is gonna burn. So hot! Pretty good though. Come on, eat up. <laughs> I shared the takoyaki with Junpei as he egged me to, to uh, egged me on to dig in. We walked around the different shops together. Hey, they're selling masks here. I used to collect these when I was a kid. Had all the different colors of these hero ones. For some odd reason, just wearing it makes you feel like you're a real hero. After the elastic wore down, I'd fix them up with rubber bands. It was so much fun.
Hana. <clears throat> hey, you two! Would you like to play Lucky Draw? All you do is pick a ball. It's easy, and everyone's a winner. Oh, another nostalgic moment. Why don't you try picking one? I stuck my hand inside the big box that the game attendant held out to me. The box is filled with individually numbered balls. I grabbed. I quickly pulled out the first ball I grabbed. Ding, 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 ding! Whoa! Congratulations! Man, you've got some luck to win something at our booth, miss! You just said that everyone's a winner. I guess. Here's your prize! It's Kaleidoscope! Not a kaleidoscope, it's the concept of kaleidoscope. Technically, the, the, the walkthrough says to feel around to get the Jack Frost doll, but we already have all of those <laughs> for the quest, we, so... We have all of them. <laughs> and, and the kaleidoscope I thought was really cute. Wow, you actually won something. Nice. You must be real lucky. Good for you. The sky is covered in darkness. <laughs> Something's okay. going to happen. So it's night time. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, game, for the dramatic reading of Hey, it's night out. <laughs> We're done looking around at everything. Should we start heading back? I thought that we'd run into someone we know, but nope. Meh, better that we didn't. They would have poked fun at us, I bet. Ah, uh, but forget that. I love being free now that summer school's over. It's so awesome. Let's go somewhere like this again. I decided to go back to the dorm and load a previous save. And it never happened. <laughs> now it never happened. I already went with you. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving you for last. Oh. My phone is ringing. <laughs> Hello, Kage. I didn't even pick up yet! Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, we're gonna pass her. Hello? Uh, hello, Kage, it's Yukari. Hi, Yukari. How did you know I already picked up the phone? I guessed. Um, did you know there's a summer festival in Naga... Naga... Naganaki. Naganaki Shrine today? Oh yeah, I did hear about that. I'm gonna ask Fuka if she wants to... Oh, go to you. If she does, you want to come with us? Sure. Aw, it's okay. a night out. Then see you later. You didn't miss anything, Travis. We had we just had to listen to a bunch of lectures on tarot and magic. And... I decided to go to the summer festival with Yukari. Should I wear a Yukata? And Junpei going yes. on a fake date with Minato. <laughs> Minato? Is it, wait, wait, what's her name? Kage! Oh, Kage, I'm sorry. Naga. Her her canon name is Minato. Yes. Minato, what? not Minato. Minato is the male character, yes. isn't it? Yes. I have come to Naganaki Shrine with Yukari and Fuka. Yeah. And Yukoku is in Fuka's way. Yeah. Oh, is that me? No, not yet. Not the yet. shrine is filled with people eating food and playing games. Wow, the crowd's a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. Are you getting excited? Are you getting as excited as I am? I hate that. I sure yeah. am. I'm not comfortable with crowds. Fuka looks so cute in her yukata. sunflowers on her yukata. Ah. <laughs> but you two look like you're having fun. Ow. Oh, I tripped. I'll never get used to wearing yukatas. Man, talk about coincidence. 
I'm surprised everyone showed up wearing you cottons. You look great in yours, Kage. Makes you look really Japanese. <laughs> she is Japanese. Better not spill any food on it, though. <laughs> oh, hey! Why don't we all get some takoyaki? Oh, yeah. It so good. He's gonna burn their mouths this Oh! Time. Good idea! It'll be just enough for the three of us. Excuse me, I like one package. Don't they fly? Thanks! Coming right up! And for a trio of cute ladies like you, an extra one. So I'm pretty sure this is a guy. Uh, be careful not to fall on any scummy guys out there. Fall on or for? Uh, fall for any scummy guys. <laughs> gotcha. Go away, fly! Ooh, uh, yeah, there's a fly that apparently likes her scream. It's because the, it's the only light on. You want to hit the overhead light? Maybe it'll draw it away from my computer. Yeah, maybe we'll have... Kayla, eat it. Kayla, eat it. <laughs> okay. Fuka put the takoyaki in her mouth. Mm, hot. Mm, not hot. Yuka's... Yuka? Fuka? <laughs> Fuka's, <laughs> lip, Fuka's lips are, are quivering. Okay, well, what's up? That's what you get for not letting it cool off a bit. Let's eat ours too, Kage. Part of the fun is eating it while it's still hot. Don't burn yourself, you guys. Okay, well, so just do what you said not to do. <laughs> I started sharing takoyaki with Fuka and Kari. Mm -hmm. I walked around the different shop. We walked. We walked around the different shops together. I want takoyaki. Look up a good recipe for that. Hey, look! They have masks. I have a fox mask. The hero ones are a must at places like this. Oh, hey, they have dog masks, too. <laughs> Doesn't that one look like photo chan Maybe I should buy it. It does. Want to confuse a poor dog? Peony! Peony? Peony. Personal. Hana! Hey there, ladies. Would you like to play Lucky Draw? All you do is pick a ball, it's easy, and everyone's a winner! Really? Everyone's a winner? Hmm. Maybe we should give it a try. I stuck my hand inside the big box that the game attendant held out to me. The box is filled with individually numbered balls. <sighs> Start them around first. Stirred the balls around before picking one out. Whoa! Congratulations! Man, you've got some luck to win something at our booth, you fucking lucky bitch. Excuse you? Excuse me, sir, what was that? Miss. <laughs> Here's your prize! Jack Frost doll! Yay! Yike. <laughs> you have a whole collection. Yeah. Wow, lucky you! I got a water balloon. Yukari chan got a Menko card. It's true that everyone wins, but. Here, Fuka, do you want the Jack Frost doll? Uh, you know, that's okay. I have like a hundred of them. The water balloon at someone. I have like a hundred of them. You can have it if you want. <laughs> can I have it? Oh my god, Yukari, here. <laughs> it's cute. I did offer it to Fuka. <laughs> don't worry, Fuka, I have like... she declined. Don't worry, Fuka, I have like a hundred of them back at the dorm. You can have one. You can have one? I spent way too much time playing that crane game. How many of you... <laughs> Have. hundred. <laughs> Why? I've spent way too much time playing that Aww. crane game. You've seen all the shops. I need shoot eyes. I need shoot the targets with the really bad bottle of uh, weird guns. I played this dart throwing game. They forbade me from coming back. Yes, you hit every target and won three masks. What do you expect? <laughs> 
I don't think I missed anything. Mm, that was fun. I can't believe we just got out. Uh, we just got out of summer school yesterday. Let's go to something like this again. <sighs> one more, and then we'll do Akihiko. I mean, one more, and then we'll go to the the festival with Akihiko. And then do. We'll... Chew. Excuse me. Oh, are you all right, Akihiko? I got a tickle in my nose all of a sudden. Someone must be talking about you. That's just a superstition. It's so true. Oh, my phone is ringing. <laughs> you have to do it this time. I can't do it! <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm laughing, hold on. Hello? Hello? Is this Skino? Yes? Hi, Mitsuru. Are you free tonight? There's going to be a summer festival at Nakanaki Shrine. I guess seems to want to go. Perhaps it will be better if you came too, just in case. Sure! I see. Thank you. I'll come get you later. At least no one will be able to see her lack of feet under the yukata. I decided to go to the summer festival. Where are you, Kata? I have come to the Naganaki Shrine with Mitsuru and Agus. The shrine is filled with people eating food and playing games. Wow. Her hair is so cute like that. So many people. So mature. I guess. Don't leave our side. Hey, were you even listening? Get back here. Honestly, I'll hold hands. I'll hold hands with her. I see. So you are restraining me. Oh, those are daisies. They looked like eggs. <laughs> However, since I can fire projectiles from my wrist. Holding hands is a poor method of restraint. Are you going to shoot me, Agus? Alright, alright. Just make sure to follow us closely. No. <laughs> yes. Hage, Sam, you are equipped with a yukata as well. Yes. Equipped. At first glance, this is a peaceful gathering, but behind it... No, no, there's nothing behind it. No. It's from the takoyaki stand. Would you like to try some? Takoyaki's eating nothing but takoyaki. One, please, miss. Well, let's just say it's like Groundhog Day. See, it is a girl. A person. Oh. Uh, miss? Uh, come on. Uh, coming right up. It's so nice to see such lovely ladies together. Here, I'll put in an extra one for you. On the house. Could this be a trap? Uh, no. <laughs> I guess put the takoyaki in her mouth. Wow. Extremely high temperature juices squirted out from inside. <laughs> um, um, also, can she eat? Apparently. Uh, she has uh, a digestive system? Yes. I, I would imagine that it's not so Digestive system. Well, like, just some sort of a tract. Okay. Food I can, processor. I, I see her taking the 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 food and con and the waste and converting it into. And she energy. has like a scanner inside her mouth. I guess seems happy for some reason. Taste. I'm glad to hear it. So that's what f that food is like. Skino, you should have some too. Teach I guess the essentials of takoyaki. Yeah, because you don't know them either, Mitsuru. You, you just eat it. M me? I'll pass. I shared takoyaki with I guess. Ow. We walk together around the different shops. What is that? It's called a mask. You wear it over your face to have fun. Hiding your face is fun? 
The purpose is not to hide your face. Rather, you wear it to have a different face. Hmm, it's difficult to explain. You try to be someone else by wearing a different face? Yes, exactly. Your degree of comprehension is simply amazing. At this rate, after a few more tests, the chairman may give you permission to go out. I am looking forward to that. Hey there, ladies! Would you like to play Lucky Draw? Hi again! You again. He's oh. like the sands of this, of this game, so he's aware of me returning to previous saves. Oh, god damn it. All you do is pick a ball, it's easy, and everyone's a winner. Especially you, apparently. Skino, have you met this man before? Nope, I don't know him at all. It's like Groundhog Day, Hada. <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's like Undertale. He's Sans, I'm Frisk. <laughs> Hmm. However, what? he has this cute same tone. It's like papyrus. I have no idea what's going Full on. Fuller showman. Fuller showman. Hmm. Why don't we give it a try? Yeah. I suck my hands out the big box. You guys can't la, la, like la, la, la. No. I know I can't. No, I can ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good. That was really good. I just caused a life to go on. <laughs> I got, I got, I got something. I have a feeling that that's not quite as enthusiastic as it's making it out to be. <laughs> Babe. Hana. Whoa. Congratulations. It's like the guy. It's sarcastic game of the world. No, no, it kind of makes me think of the hamburger guy. The guy that runs a hamburger because mm. they're fun. Mm. He's just like, I don't fucking care. You must have <laughs> some luck to win something at our booth, miss. Again. What does you win this time? I got a Jack Russell. I'm saving the kaleidoscope again for, for uh, hockey he goes. I won a water pistol. Between this hard. and my onboard firearms, which is more effective in battle against the shadow. Onboard firearms are one. Here, let's trade. I'll give you the glass bead I want in exchange for your water pistol. Isn't it beautiful? She's like, nope. The sky is covered in darkness. What is the practical purpose of a glass bead? It's Hold just it pretty up to, to the sun and look at it. It's just pretty to look at. Just us. like Roxas! <laughs> if that is its only function, why do I have it? Because I would prefer you not have the water pistol. So you don't change your equipment. Because it... It, 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 it could sh short circuit... No, we proved that by going in the ocean that you can't short circuit because of water. Right. I just would prefer you didn't use this against shadows. Oh, so she's not like Hanabusa. <sighs> no, she's not like Hanabusa. I saw Water her. pistols are an inefficient weapon against shadows. Noted. We've been, we've seen all the stands. It's starting to get late, so let's head back. I guess. Not yet. The mystery of the shooting game has not yet been solved. Huh? How could the items not budge at all, even when struck precisely at the balancing points? Is she gonna shoot on him with her real weapon? Perhaps you should ask Iori the trick behind it when we return. Come on, let's go. Okay. Oh no, she did it. I want her to light it up. Ah! Yeah, I got <laughs> I've got I've gotta have daddy come in her. Yeah, but as soon as he said light it up, light up Um, my puns are too strong. No, I think I think my grandmother's just fucking with Super me. Pay! Your puns are too strong. You're going to kill us one day with your pun. Sorry, Jinpei, I already went with you. What? Nothing. Okay, bye. Uh. Oh, hey, my phone's ringing. It's <laughs> like <laughs> so angry. Hello? Hello? It's Akihiko. 
Hi, Senpai, what's up? There's a festival at the Naganaki Shrine today. Wanna come with? Sure! Alright, then I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs> Do not touch her cards. I know. Yeah. The shrine is filled with people eating yeah, food and playing games. Up. Ah, looks like business is booming. There's a lot of people too. Make sure you don't get separated, okay? okay how about you hold hands? <laughs> no. Should we hold hands? What are you talking about? I don't treat you like that much of a kid, do I? <sighs> Come on, let's go pay a visit to the shrine first. Aww. Akihiko seems to be having a lot of fun. Good for Akihiko. Akihiko. That looks hard to walk in. You didn't have to wear a yukata here, you know? Yeah, but I like it. Oh. Don't you? Uh. <clears throat> what? I didn't mean the uh, well that uh, that uh, the sky it, is getting dark. No, it uh, <clears throat> it makes it hard to look directly at you. What? What? What's in line? Darkness. The sky is covered in darkness. Mm. That's the line. You look good in it. Don't get bad. Seems Akihiko is very happy to see me wearing it. Well, cool. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Shh. Nice. Something smells good. Let me guess what it is. Takayaki, huh? Wanna share one? It's my treat. Sure. Excuse me. One takayaki, please. Oh! You're one fine looking man. You get an extra one, hot stuff. Excuse me? For your girlfriend. Well, say, is this your girlfriend? Uh... The good old days of youth. Th th that's not it! Damn defensive. Oh, um. Uh, yeah. Happy he go quietly put a takoyaki in his mouth. I'll do. Kill it, leave it. <laughs> Seems to have been hot. <sighs> that was a dangerous bout. But I came out victorious in the end. Here. Eat up. I swear, his one true theme song is Eye of the Tiger. Ow. Um, I shared the takoyaki with Akihiko as he egged me to dig. Kayla, damn! Egged me to dig? To dig in. We walked around the different shops together. Are you alright, Skino? Mm, yeah. What are you sighing about? Nothing. Are you sure? I mean, if it's something you need to talk about, then... Why, are you, why are you skipping all these I, my, my hand twitched. Oh. He was like, masks, huh? Masks? 500 yen? Well, I can actually afford these now. <laughs> They were too expensive for me to buy when I was a kid. Isn't 500 yen like 50 cents? No, 500 yen is like 5 bucks. When I came to festivals, I'd just wander around and go home because I couldn't buy anything. Now I actually have the money. You again! Hi there! 
Hey, you two! Would you like to play Lucky Draw? The, oh, it's you again. Draw. Oh, now, you, you. now you've got yourself another boyfriend. According to him, he's not my boyfriend. All you do is pick them all, it's easy, and everyone's a winner. Lucky Draw, huh? I've always doubted whether it's really possible to win the stuff on display. Give it a try, Kage. I'll pay for it. Um, okay. Ooh. Stuck my hand inside the big box that the game attendant held out to me. Begrudgingly. I grabbed... I quickly pulled out the first ball I grabbed. Whoa. What a shocker. Congratulations. You've got some luck to win something at our booth. <clears throat> Here's your prize. I hate this kaleidoscope anyway. Get it out of my sight. <clears throat> Would have been amazing if you'd won first place. Yeah, but I like this better. Well, I'd hate for you to use up all your luck here, of all places. <laughs> No, oh, you're you're the one who drew the win, so the prize is yours. Are you sure? I'm saying that you can have it. Okay. You buy it for you anyway. And the sky is covered in darkness. It's completely dark out. Looks like we've been here for quite a while. Even though I can't remember doing much of anything besides going to the shrine, eating takoyaki, looking at the masks, and playing the ball game. I had a fun breather today. Thank you. Decided to go back okay. to the door. Are you sure there's nothing you need to talk with me about? No, senpai. Maybe senpai one day you'll understand, but... At night... He's oblivious. He's dead as fuck, man! And then Kage comes back, and your partner's like, what the fuck is going on? So she's like, uh, Kage, are you okay? No, you hear Kage say, boys are stupid. Okay. okay. Oh, this is where we start the, like, long season, the, the, the long days of save states. The long, long days of save states? You'll see. And then oh. you'll you'll see. Hana should know what's coming up next. After today. Akihiko is like a black hole. Well, he sucks everything in. No. He's yes! The, he's, he's My the, heart! He's the densest object in the universe. Hi, Maiko. Is a black hole considered an object? I mean... It's I was waiting for you. ...physical that you can actually grasp. Well, yes, they are composed of matter. It's just a whole bunch of matter packed into an extremely small area of space. Maiko is staring at me. Pretty sure she doesn't even know what her mom and dad I've is. walked her home before. Oh. Micah left. Hmm? A woman approaches me. What? You two be her parents. Oh, okay. Uh, really? Yes. Come on, we gotta practice. <laughs> Ow. 
Serenity a bitch? Yeah, she is kind of bitchy. Keep in mind, she's worried about her daughter. What the fuck was that? You okay? Easy me not wanting to be a mom. Kaku having to say that comment, they just go. Ah. But, but you. don't you want Evan? Really, that random Sims. <laughs> I texted you guys for a name and you gave me Evan. Yeah! I think that was all her. <laughs> well, I told her she wasn't allowed to name him Soul. I was like, God damn it! So I'm like, Evan! <laughs> hey, you! <clears throat> Have you seen a little girl? She's in elementary school. The woman seems especially nervous. A man walks up from behind her. Be fatherly um, as possible, <laughs> Well, yeah, well, he's also pissed at the mom. Just calm down and think, damn it. Calm down? Calm down? What if something happened to her? Oh, please. This is what happens when you force a child to study non-stop. No, Roxas is Chi-Chi. They begin shouting. Shout, yell. <laughs> ah. Ah! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look. You're Kage, right? Uh, yeah. I heard about you from Maiko. She said she hung out with a high school kid instead of practicing piano. <gasps> this is the first time I've heard of it! Sorry. You didn't teach her anything funny, did you? No! The woman is pissed off. <laughs> it's fucking Chi-Chi! <laughs> I should make him sound like Goku. <laughs> Can you do Goku? No. Can you do- it? See, no, because of how angry he is, he'd be more like Vegeta. He'd be Vegeta, and I'd be like- Then you have to be Bulma. But I have to be Bulma, I'm being pissed right Bulma now! Bulma doesn't have a temper. I don't know. I mean, she doesn't, Vegeta. <laughs> Stupid Hitler, do it! I don't want to do it now. You want to pull a Vegeta? I don't know if I can. It's just trying to be like, ugh. Bring God damn it, woman! That was so good. Bring me a dry cloth. <laughs> Come on, we got to do your life. No, no, no. Shut up and stop jumping to stupid conclusions. Why the fuck? <laughs> Look, we're Michael's parents. Why is your hair a pineapple? <laughs> 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 Look, he's pissed off too. Now hurry on and explain. And basically, we haven't seen Michael since this morning. We found a no- Oh, uh, that's not it. I'm, I'm drifting now. That's fine, just do your normal wish. Just like he was reading. <laughs> you can't breathe now. He can't hold it. He can't hold it. We found a note in our room that said, I'm running away, Maiko. She never- She's never done anything like this before! <sighs> Honestly? I think it's your fault. Well, you... You don't know anything. Why Maiko? No. Listen, girl. If you have any idea where she is, I'm begging you to tell us. All the places that I've gone with Maiko, the one that she spoke most happily about was... The takoyaki stand. The, the takoyaki stand? Oh, that takoyaki stand. Hurry, let's hurry, let's go. Come on, I'll show you the way. There's my go. There you are, Mom, Dad. Oh, you came too. Sorry, my go. 
Calm down. Can you tell she's scared? You guys made me worry too. I was so scared. You said you were getting a divorce and I didn't know what to do. I didn't want you to get divorced because of me. Ah! Oh, so that's what this is all about. We're really sorry, Micah. We don't... Why don't we go home and talk about this? Can't take... Couldn't they honestly budget a different face for this guy? <laughs> no, because this is the only scene we see him in. I'm not sure what to say. I'm sorry I pulled you into this. I told you to keep it a secret. I'm sorry. Micah was happy to know that her parents cared about her. Our relationship is stronger now. Bye. Bye, Micah. Micah left with her parents, so I decided to go back to the dorm. <sighs> <laughs> it's a long story. I'll well, tell you later. Guess I can say it's so hot. I hate this weather. Maybe that's why you're tired. Don't you agree? I don't mind it. Seriously? How can you not be hot? Because of the hot air. <laughs> anyway. Seth Rock, why were you on my ass? <gasps> How dare you put Sephiroth out of your ass! I didn't put him there, I pulled him out of that area. He was on cold. Anyway, before Stupe decides to pull Sephiroth out of his ass... <laughs> no, not my hat! Uh, there won't be another full moon until September. Right after summer break ends. Oh, how nice. It's like planning for exams, huh? Well, at least there are only four shadows left. We have to did something. Sorry. Hi, Senpai. Good evening. I feed Kotomaru leftovers. Usually vanilla ice cream. Sometimes beef bowl. Dad! Hey. You ever had a pet kage? Dog? Yes. You can't tell me you've never fed your dog leftover vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, yes. Beef bowl, no. What's the difference? There's vegetables in beef bowl that could be poisonous to the dog. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Obviously you don't. I don't put vegetables that can kill Kotomaru in his beef bowl. He picks them out. Mm -hmm. Kotomaru's food? I well. Takahiko doesn't eat veggies in his beef bowl. <laughs> 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 beef. Vegetables um, are for people who don't need protein! There's protein in some vegetables. Protein! Yeah, incomplete proteins. Damn them. Well, he usually get he usually eats vitamin enhanced dog food. Sometimes we feed him our leftovers. It's important that he eats a balanced and nutritious diet. As my internal dog trainer is screaming. Oh, Fuka. I know that Kodachan didn't mean to hurt you, Kodachan's feelings, but I'm sure she's a little. 
What? What did the car do to the car? You'll save. I don't know what to do in this kind of situation. What did I do? Look up her skirt? <laughs> Card. I missed that. I overcooked my meal the other day. I oh. didn't want to throw it away, so <laughs> I gave it a cold amaru. <laughs> but he wouldn't eat it. I wouldn't eat it either. <laughs> that bummed me out. So I turned it into fertilizer, or I see saw. A Luca could use it to turn it into fertilizer for her plants. But not even her plants would eat it. <laughs> I mean, I know I burned it, but I didn't think it was that bad. It's mystery food X. Look, it wasn't smelling, it wasn't creating Poison anything. Poison to anything It, it wasn't cool. bubbling any weird colors. I just burned it. <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> He wouldn't eat it. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. Oh my god. How about you try it? I guess. <laughs> Here. The summer festival was a very fun, experience, good experience. The rate at which the food substance cotton candy expanded was beyond my expectations. Expanded. I'm looking forward to the next summer festival. No way, to me. The strands of sugar expand. That's what makes it so fluffy. How oh, fluffy. Hello, Ken. Ken! Oh, oh, uh, Mitsuru san took Aegis-san to the summer festival. I didn't hear anything on the news about it, so no one must have noticed that Aegis is a robot. She must have been in stealth mode. She must have been in stealth mode. Just my thoughts. Ah. What? <laughs> in weather related news, has Japan become a subtropical climate? By all indications, this week won't be another humid one. This is in addition to all the disasters worldwide, such as hurricanes and tsunamis. Isn't Japan a tropical climate? No. Okinawa is. <laughs> yes. I mean, they are kind of north. Who was scratching himself with his hind leg? Who got? Does Korochan have some fleas? Who could? Bring you itchy somewhere? Uh, that is not a growl. Uh, oh, I know. I bought something the other day. Wait, right here. Uh, run, 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 run. Nope. Puka came back carrying something. Hey, here. It's a doggy brush. Kodachan, would you like us to brush your fur? <laughs> Kodamadu seems happy. I decided to brush Kodamadu with Fuka. <laughs> no, think, think about that noise when, when the dog is happy and being brushed. That's not, not what it says. <laughs> Does that feel good? <laughs> Kodamadu seems content. <laughs> Kodo-chan seems happy. <laughs> Kodamadu's fur seems a little softer now. He seems happy too. Oh. Hmm? 
Konamaga suddenly got up and backed up. Konamagan, do you not like your stomach being touched? Konamagan just like me. And just, we spend a peaceful moment with Konamaga. Alright. This is where the save stating begins. Mm -hmm. Save stating? My phone is ringing. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. She's like, hey, Kage, are you free to go to the movies? There's a phone. Hey, Kage, are you free to go to the movies? Uh, they're having a film festival uh, there right now. I heard they're running hard. Uh, Running horror flicks all day today. Does that sound awesome? Why? We are gonna go and do these, but we have to go back and do other stuff because um, otherwise we're not gonna get social links up. Right, it's the summer so we'll film play festival. Them. Yeah, so we'll play through them and then we'll go back. X, I can go. Really? Great. I'll see you there. Rio seems excited. Even though I'm her of my little pony movie. <laughs> Not the Equestria Girl. The new one that's coming out that I'm so excited for. That's been coming out for a while, hasn't it? Uh, they showed a trailer at um, San Diego Comic Con. I think it's supposed to be coming out in the winter? The no, winter. winter. I heard Winter. <laughs> Today they're showing horror movies. There you are. Jeez, you're late. Sorry. Let's grab some seats. I feel more courageous after watching the heroes in the movie survive. And not die. We watched a Friday the 13th marathon. A lot that was in fact what not dying. Friday the 13th and Scream of the Banshee. Yeah. What? I know. Whoa. That was tiring. I'm aching all over from kind of screaming. Watching um, three movies in a row was a little much. Um, I wonder how many times the Earth got run over. Run over. <laughs> So it was just the giant alien race was just driving their space van and ran over the earth. So like as if an alien race brought their planet and rolled over us. Um I'm getting images of Katamari. Katamari. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Uh they were fun to watch though. And everyone was happy in the end, too. Well, let's go home. Later. Time for nightmares. I'll understand. No, yeah, it's just going on for like the next week. Yeah. Nope, wrong button. Yeah. 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 Sound like Pac Man down. <laughs> I feel closer to my cab. According what to the fortune. Just say? <laughs> what? what? What did you just say? I feel closer to my cow? No, before that. Blessings to the believer. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> According to the fortune box, I will have bad luck. Be careful with my money. One thousand yen just flew uh, flew out of my pocket and blew away. How ironic. Well, shh. That's okay. Careful with your money. That was a hundred dollars. Welcome back. That was ten dollars. That was ten dollars. We have less than two weeks until school resumes. Fighting the shadows is our priority, but you should still study some during the daytime. <laughs> no. Yes. No, she already said that. Oh. He already said that. Like the big bark. 
Yeah. Ikutski. Bakora. <laughs> Karamato is no mere dog. He is an essential member of Seas. Isn't he good at that? Please carefully consider what you feed him. Bakora! He's really good at merit, too. I'm Shadow. I've watched that show way too much. <laughs> Don't we all? How many times have you given him bad food, Yukari? Have you watched the Abridge series much? That's what he's talking about. Oh. I thought he was talking about the actual show. He also does a really good darts. Well, Council of Evil darts. They changed his voice mm -hmm. in the most in the couple recent episodes. Yeah. Okay. You forgot the bark. Well, he was. Yeah, he's I mean, not. We're I not. I already barked. We're not doing a thing with him tonight. No, the bark. I've already arced and wolfed. <laughs> Woof. Like woof. People down. I woofed. I'm going to work. Bye. I woof. Hey. I woof. And woof. <laughs> like however many ways I can say woof. I definitely didn't woof. That's <laughs> Is it? Well, first it's. Oh. <clears throat> Everybody has a different ringtone now. <laughs> Good morning. This is Theodore. There is a hue. There's a hue. <laughs> there is a hue. I'm sorry. There is a hue. Well, uh, I've just done this already, so it's this again. All right, Saudi. What is your ringtone? I'm tempted to just pull it up for you. You do that. Why is, why is her ringtone called Baby and Garden? It's your ringtone. Or Balam Garden. It's your ringtone for her. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> I mean, my yes. my. I guess that means. She's kind of trapped in the library. I mean, I guess that means that my ringtone for Akihiko would be Eyes on Me. <laughs> I need to find that shit. I have that on my phone. Yeah, okay, pull that up. Hello. Hello. This is Sally. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue. Would you like to go to the movies today? Seems they're showing a series of nature documentaries. Does that sound good at all? Sure. Really? <laughs> Excellent. I already can't wait. I'm sorry. Nature documentaries. Everybody's into their own thing. I like nature stuff. It's like it's like um. Oh god, what was the, the Animal Planet one? Blue Planet? Or something like that? I mean, yeah. And like, my, I know some people like indie films. No, sorry I'm late! Over here, Kage-chan. I already bought a program. I couldn't contain myself. Come on, let's go. Program! After watching the movies, uh, after watching the beautiful scenery in the movies, I feel like my charm has increased. Oh, uh, okay. That's not how that works, but sure. Those were really amazing. Those were really amazing to see on such a large screen. I almost yelped when that bear was catching fish. <laughs> Silly of me, huh? Thank you so much for today. I'll see you at school.
Sorry, Kagami, we're gonna have to get ready again for Maiko. Ease me! I'm gonna take that away from you. I'm not touching Facebook again. Oh, hi! You have off today, right? I have to go to prom school, but I'm not going. Will you play with me? <laughs> sure, Maiko. What should we do? Take her and see a movie. For some reason, we don't get that option with Maiko. <laughs> I guess because it's inappropriate to take a child to see a movie. We take Ken at some point. But that, I guess that's different because he's a social link and he lives with us. <laughs> the hours. Since <laughs> Japan has laws for social links. <laughs> he's, he's my little brother. I think the after the whole fiasco with the parents, you're like, uh. The hours flew. Yeah, well, I think it would be inappropriate for Maiko to call me to ask me to a movie. She doesn't live in the same dorm as me like Ken does. Well, Will. The hours flew by as we hung out. I'm kind of hungry. Let's go out to eat. What do you feel like eating? Mm, how about hamburgers? Wow, I want a frog burger from Wild Duck. A frog burger? I don't think it's actually made of frog. I think, like, all the kids' meals are themed after different animals. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's a, uh... uh they did the friendlies. Sorry, so go So it's ahead. a Konamine kitchen kind of deal. Yeah, they did that at Friendly's for a little while on the kids' menu where all the meals are based off of different Looney Tunes characters. Yeah, whatever happened to the shaped chicken nuggets? I don't know. Like, I used to do, like, dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets at certain places. I thought they still sell those at my wagons. Yeah, you can still buy them. What? No, but they had them in Family Rush. I think Friendly's, I think, had them. Yeah, Friendly's had them for a while. And Denny's. Denny's had them. There's only like two Denny's near here and their food's not that great anymore. Hi. I decided to grab a burger with my coat. So, the other day, Mom and Dad, they talked to me about why they were getting divorced. I was sad, but I listened to what they said. Did, did I do good? Good girl. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. Maiko seems very happy. So mom and dad, they said when there's no love, it's hard to still be married. They said not to worry, because they would always love me. I told them it's okay to get divorced. It must be hard to live together when you don't love each other after all. Hey, so... I have to choose whether I want to live with mom or dad. But I can't choose that. You decide for me. Um, your mom. My mom has been crying a lot lately. A little warmer to be alone. Alone with her might be best. Maiko seems confused. Oh. Mom might move somewhere far away, so if I went with her, I couldn't play with you anymore. That would be bad. You felt like you were my big sister. Miko seems to really like me. Our relationship is stronger now. I better get home. Hey, will you, will you hold my hand on the way home? I returned to the dorm after walking my couple. Oh. I love you, little sis. Hey, Junpei. Sup, dude? Damn, it's hot. I'm sweating like a pig. Ew. Ew. It's all in your head. The heat will only affect you if you allow it to. That's of course. Bullshit. There are limits to that theory. Uh... Hi, Ken! 
you have nothing new to say. Neither does Akihiko. Neither does Mitsuru. Neither does Fuka. Oh dear. Or Junpei. Or Yukari, for that matter. Does Igus have anything new? Nope. Does the TV have anything new? Yes. Hi one, it's first. Hi one, it's eleventh victory. <laughs> it's first victory. The first in four years. And now some more disturbing news. Satsuki Onuzuka, sixty-four, a housewife in Minato-ku, in Minato-ku, has been reported missing. Police are looking into the possibility that she was involved in an, in an accident, but ask for public support. There's a possibility she may have wandered into Tartars and shit. Oh, Jesus. 64-year-old woman lost yeah. in the mutated school. Yeah, Filled yeah. with strange lob creatures. I'm going to the mall! <laughs> oh, no! All these people are stuck in their mall! <laughs> I'm just doing what this guy says. I says gotta go shopping first. I gotta go to karaoke. Karaoke. <laughs> Summer vacation will be over soon. Yeah, gotta save the well. car before I go save these old oh. people from Tartarus. Meanwhile, in front of Tatsumi Port Island Station. <clears throat> Man, it's scorching hot out here. Junpei opened up his cell. Lip. Shoot, it's already the 20th. Sum Summer break is almost over. So bad there's nothing to do. You'd think with special powers the world wouldn't be so boring. Hmm? Hmm. Is that girl drawing something? She's some kind of caricature artist? <laughs> Nah, couldn't be. There's no one around her. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing to here to draw. Junpei walked near the girl. Out of my way. I can't see you. Move. Uh, sorry. And I wish I could see what she's drawing. Jinpei took a peek at the girl's drawing from afar. The page is filled with red and black. It looks nothing like the surroundings. It must be some kind of abstra abstract piece. <laughs> Sorry, hiccups. What do you want? Uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, what's with that outfit? And what the hell is she drawing? Yeah, I'll never understand the art. Oh well. That's gonna leave an impression on him. That outfit! That drawing! What the fuck? I... Please. You did the last one. I you can get me some more Snapple, please. Snapple. Snapple. Water. Water, water. No way, it's just straight water. Yeah. Water that you have in hand. to the believer. Uh -huh. I feel closer to Kodamari. I will have the very worst of luck. I am headed towards financial disaster. My health is in grave danger. Um. 5,000 yen just fell out of my pocket. And that was away. 50 bucks. And for some reason, I feel tired. My condition has worsened to tired. But cheat codes! Hi, I guess. Having a bad day. Greetings. The next school 
full moon will appear on the 5th of September. We will have to, we will have to be to prepare for the shadow. Hey, Aichan, you want to go get some ice cream? That will not help us prepare. It says you. Moreover, ice cream rots away human teeth. Does it not? No, ice cream is one of the four basic food groups. <sighs> it's all over the news. Apathy syndrome cases are increasing. We must do something about this. There are some real weirdos out there, man. You know those gothic lolitas, right? Well, someone drawing all this weird shit in a notebook. She seemed like she was living in a different world, dude. Wow, someone's judgmental. Hi, Fuka. I need to work on my summer vacation homework. Junpei Kun said he's gonna do all his at once. How are you planning to finish yours, Kage? Little by little. Good. That's the easiest way to do it. I've been doing my homework every day, so I'm almost done with it. Romato san's persona is strong against fire and darkness. However, it is weak against light. So please be careful with Hama skills. Seems a special about the game of notes today is on. Fuka. Oh, I know that game. I've played it before. They're releasing a handheld version of it. I should get that when it comes out. <coughs> Persona. They're talking about Persona 3, yeah. Ah! Oh, Romano is wagging his tail. Let's hang out with him and stuff. Ah! Ah! There's a ball at Konamaru's feet. Ah! Konamaru seems happy. Seems he wants me to throw it and play with him. I pick it up and throw it. <laughs> Konamaru happily went to fetch it. He brought it back in his mouth. You're definitely not a Rottweiler. One more? <laughs> Konamaru seems happy. He threw the ball a number of times. Hi, Fuka. Oh, is she playing with you, Koro-chan? You're having fun, aren't you? Ah! Hey, do you think Kodochan is still young? I think he's still young. I think so too. He's really agile. The other day I asked I guess how old I asked I guess too how old Kodochan is. She said that even Kodochan doesn't know his own age. That makes sense though. I doubt Kodochan has a sense of how many years and months it's been since he was born. Look, I have freezing cold business baby. Yeah, let me get Mom? Hold on. Yours. Too late. <laughs> I just frozen water. Exactly. Oh, it keeps you drink cold. I was ready to drink water. I need the freeze. I'll be, I'll be right back again. Okay. I think he knew how old Koro-chan is. He must be a lot on what he knew about. I hope we can take the priest's place someday. Um. No. I, I don't. I don't think that was worded properly. Yeah, it's it's. Konamaru was quietly looking at you. Me. You, me, me. When I pat his head, he squints his eyes happily. My bond with Kuro Maru has gotten a little stronger. He's a good boy, Kuro-chan. 
Konamati assertion there has reached level 3 and shit. Woo! Konamati was yawning. I spent a moment of peace with Konamati. Konamaru is yawning. Mm -hmm. You! Konamaru is yawning. No, what did you do? Computer, phone, thing, computer thing. I lost my spot in the water. Our vacation will be over soon. Oh no. Oh god. No, no, it's Theo! Somebody play the Velvet Room theme! <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's... Beep. Beep. Hello? Hello, this is Theodore. Hi, Theo! You sound like an answer machine! I've heard there is an event underway in your world now called a film festival. Actually, we could do his and not have to worry about saving, because the other thing to do is the thing that I already have, is the thing I already have. Max out my courage. I'd be intrigued to see this for myself. Do you have any interest in accompanying me? I keep turning that the wrong way. Yes. Sure. Thank you very much. I'll see you at the appointed time, then. Okay, see you later. And she'll be late. I have decided to go to the movies with Theo. And be late. <sighs> Port Island Station Movie Theater. The theater is crowded because of the movie marathon. There's a new theme each day. Today, they're showing tearjerkers. Oh, great. <laughs> Hi, Theo! What are Tear jerkers. Oh, they're they're movies that make you cry. I feel that I'll learn something new. I'm looking forward to this. I have learned some romantic one-liners from the movie. My charm is greatly increased. What is that one kind of makes sense? Uh, what was the other one? What the other major ones? documentary. There was much about that that I didn't understand. What did you understand? She Holy she was shit. senile and he was reading the notebook this, of their lives. <laughs> you just like took three movies and combined them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Most and of she it. had amnesia! Most of it, in truth. Oh, she had cancer and had a bad skin condition. <laughs> and they were both ghosts! <laughs> and then they won the championship. <laughs> they and then he died! Time. Yes, I love you was a very good Despite movie, by the, the way. Despite the fact that she was senile! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love you was a very good movie, by the way, and it's one of those movies I want to watch with Lana, because it's just so good. And then they both died on a boat! He was already dead! And they came... had already ghosts! And then he came back. <laughs> from... Just so he could die again. <laughs> back in the humans. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, guys. We can do this all night. Oh, hot, no. We can do this all night. Go ahead, Theo. Most of it, in truth. <laughs> I can understand why. <laughs> However... For some reason, it pained me inside. Me too! <laughs> I've been mortally wounded on the inside. 
Dude, sentimental movies like that, I will bawl my eyes out. I am such a sap. I do not understand the implications behind this. It's a war tactic. Something to keep my mind occupied for a while, at any rate. Thank you very much for today. Please allow me to escort you back. Oh, he's such a gem. He is. Who was that guy in blue? Hey, Yukari. Who was that he, guy in blue? He's a bellhop. He's a friend. <laughs> he works as a bellhop. Yeah, he he works at the local ho local hotel. Um, he he okay. was just getting off of work, and he met me at the the, the film festival. Okay, and hey, anyway, only ten days left for summer break. You look really bored, you hey? What's wrong with that? It takes a lot of maturity to. Fully appreciate boredom. Yeah, you're, you're real, real mature. mature. <laughs> Look who's talking, Yucatan. Uh, oh, he's completely ignoring me again. Oh, I'm just gonna ignore you. <laughs> you're the one who's afraid of ghosts. <laughs> he's got you there. Shut up, stupe! See? Ignoring Point you exactly. Hey, Yukari. Have you finished your homework? Yeah. Yep. Wow, you're really diligent, Kage. Unlike someone who probably didn't do his. Did you do yours? Yep. I just have one more thing to finish and then I'm done. Really? Let me see it. No, because you're gonna go and copy it. Nah, Scout's Honor. You weren't a Scout. That's a girl. <laughs> you're not a Girl Scout. Boy Scouts say Scout's Honor. Oh, oh yeah, he. That's the Girl Scout salute. Which one's the. <laughs> Two fingers. Arden up. did this. Yeah, well, that's the point. Hey, what's this? It's Two Fingers is the Boy Scout salute. Two. Uh. Two is the boys, three is the girls. Full of sauce. Oh, hi, I guess. Hey Ken, what you looking at? Hey Ken, what ah, you looking at? Ah, uh, uh, this is Yukari Sound's magazine. Sorry. Um, it was just lying around, so I took a look at it. Those clothes featured um uh, uh those clothes featured uh seem to be very expensive. You must need a lot of money to be female. <laughs> Especially with all these accessories here. What's a Neko headband? I mean, seriously, it's like a fuzzy, it looks like some fuzzy headband with cat ears. Why? Yukatan? Why do you have a magazine that features Neko headbands? Because it's a part of a uh, Kawaii collection. Oh, you're into that stuff. No. It just happens to be the featured magazine this year. Oh, I thought you had hair for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw hair. I was like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> it's like that scene at the end of 4 when Kanji's hair changes. I know! It doesn't suit him at all. No! He does not! It looks so fucking weird. They say men are about courage and women are about charm. But I think it's the other way around. 
well, if you're attractive enough, anyone would open up to you, though. As I spent time with Mitatsu, the bond between us two grew stronger. I feel that our relationship will grow stronger soon. It's getting me. You're done. Cool. Summer vacation will be over soon! Who's calling me today? This is mine. What do you mean? Oh! You're not done! There's two. Oh! What is Bebe's ringtone? The uh, French national anthem? Yay! Are you all right? <laughs> I was no. going to say, the French national anthem played on a, uh... A what? A shamisen? Yep. <laughs> uh, now I'm tempted um, to just find a French song. I don't know. Um... Wait... Hello? <laughs> John is Hello? something. Moshi, Moshi. This is Pepe. No, it Would should you be like to go see to go to see movies today? I feel like whenever you pick up the phone and Bebe's there, you instantly have to hold it like up no. in your head. No, I just realized what it should have been. B. Um. Guess the guest. Tie a napkin on your neck. Show me, provide the rest. All right, all right, all right. You are in luck. They are showing French films. Do it. Of course, you didn't invite me for that. It is a perfect opportunity for you to learn French, ne? Je suis un espion. Eh? Did you just call yourself an espion? No, je suis un espion means I am a spy. Oh. It's a reference to a movie. Yes. Yes, it's the only bit of French I know and only because of that movie. There's like more French in the book, but I don't remember most of what I read of the French in the book. Uh. <laughs> uh. Sure, I'll go. You can go? Yatta! That is great! Okay, Tony the Tiger. I like how you leaned away from Yatta! <laughs> <laughs> and you're just gonna get loud. The theater is crowded because of the movie marathon. There's a new theme each day. Today they're showing French films. Hey, sorry I'm late! Let's go find our seats, Kagesama! Means you know what's gonna happen? A lot of French kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Not between me and Baby. <laughs> no, I meant it on the screen. I had fun watching the movie and learning some common French phrases. My academics has greatly increased. That was fun. I haven't learned my own language in a long time. Yeah. It would. We nice if you came to my <laughs> own country one it day. It would we nice. It literally says it would we nice. It would we nice. <laughs> I would come to your home country, but I'm gonna become a gay. Well, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never mind. Let us go home. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Let us go home. Yes. <laughs> I would come to your home country, but I'm going to become a gate. <laughs> no? Oui. <laughs> <laughs> eh? <laughs> oh? Ah, <laughs> oh? Ah, oh? Ah, oh? Ah, oh? Hi, Michael! Seems Micah wants to play with me. What should we do? Hey, I know! Let's get some takoyaki! I gave in to Micah's begging and went for takoyaki. Iwatodai Strip Mall, Takoyaki Stand Octopia. I made my decision. I'm gonna 
live with mom. She can't cook or clean or do anything without me. She really needs my help. I don't have to worry about dad. <laughs> As she just elbow uh. shoulders her boyfriend in the <laughs> penis. <laughs> Fiance. Fiance. Because <laughs> that's what's important. Even without me around, I think Dad will be okay on his own. <laughs> Maiko is trying to force a smile. So, Mom and I are going to move pretty soon. Sorry. We'll still be friends though, right? We're sisters forever. You really no. think of me as your little sister? Yes. Of course. I hope you always do. Maiko's tearing up. You can't ever forget about me. Promise, okay? I yeah. promise. Maiko's taken a real liking to me. <clears throat> Our relationship is stronger now. Yay. Only one more for Maiko. Mm -hmm. Girl at the shrine, so she thinks it's reached level 9. Why'd you go so lost, son? Oh, no. I decided to head back to the door. Oh, okay. Hi, Senpai! Where have you been? Oh, I was out hanging out with Maiko. Isn't this around the time when more cases of apathy syndrome, in quotation marks, start occurring? Yeah. I guess it just seems different because we're on break. Where's Mitsuru? Senpai. Mitsuru isn't here today. She has something that she needs to do. Important family business. But I'm here, so we can still go to Tartarus. Not today. Sorry. Hi, I guess. The number of the lost is a good measure of the strength of a shadow. The more victims there are, the stronger the shadow. Based on our da data thus far, the next shadow will most likely be stronger than the last. Okay. You have nothing new to say. Wow, everybody's gone today. There's nothing interesting on the news. I'm going to the mall! Do I need to get heavy ready? Yes. Okay. This should be your last time doing it tonight, I hope. <clears throat> you already read that part, you don't need to do it again. You're late! I was just about to leave! Lies. Oh, apparently I lied, we have to do them again tomorrow. You come here a lot too, huh? So, uh, you come here often? Hey, are you alright, kid? You know, money wise? High school kids don't have much money, do they? At least, I never gave much to my son. I think I'd buy. Is that right? Hmm? I guess you kids have ways to make money nowadays. The top seems impressed. You're not doing anything illegal, though, are you, kid? Not that I care. Uh, not really. No. Give me a straight answer. Is there anything you want right now? No, there isn't. Hmm. Don't tell me you've attained enlightenment at your age. That's not what we were talking about, was it? When I was a young man, I never had enough money to buy the things I wanted. When you get to be my age, hmm, never mind. You work to make money so you can have a better life. 
But to make enough money, you gotta work all the time. So you never get to enjoy that better life you're working so hard to have. Quite a paradox, isn't it? Do you know what the average lifetime income of a white collar worker is? Including a retirement fund and an annual pension? 250 million yen. Hmm. That's not even close to a lottery jackpot. Thanks to me, you learned something new today, eh, kid? Now, don't waste your life working all the time trying to get rich. Just take life as it comes. He saw through Mutatsu's harsh words and felt his kindness. I understand him a bit better now. Oh, good. We're halfway there. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. I worked my ass off for a lousy 250 million yen? And for what? I wish I could buy back all the time I lost. I'm dying over here. Summer vacation will be over too soon. The film, film festival will be ending in a week. Maybe I should invite someone from the dorm to go with me. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Are you going to? I'm going to, and then we're gonna come back. Yeah. Because we have to deal with... Did you save state? Yes, I did. That's not where I wanted to go. Yes, I save stated. <laughs> Fuck! I screwed up. Oh, hey, you're on here. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on there. Hold on, let me see who else is. Is there a... Teresa? No. Nope. Do you even know how to properly spell my name? T-H-E-R. Should I say it? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, look. No, I'm dumb looking. I'm not. You just said it. Sorry. I hate I hate my first name though. No. Nope. Anyway. Uh, oh, except another name's on here. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The other Victoria got <laughs> engaged this year too. <laughs> or Crystal. I don't know a Crystal. Or a character named Crystal. Shut up. <laughs> Hi, Kitsuki san. Mm. Alright, guys, put it away. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I was Hello! It's a warm day today, Binky Boy! <laughs> See? Isn't he amazing at that? Binky Boy! Have you heard about the film festival? The theater by the train station holds one every year! And I never get to go because I'm stuck guarding the pharaoh's tomb! Um, what? I tried inviting the others just now, but it seems no one's interested. The theme this year is so exciting, too! Seems Akutsuki really wants to go to the film festival. Oh god, are we... Yeah, we, we we're going to, to and then no, we don't have to. We're going to, and then I'm going to go back to the to my same state. I can go with you. Really? Yeah, your voice today isn't annoying. Uh, I wonder right. if I'll get in trouble if I go to the movies with a student. <laughs> Ooh, the scandal! Yeah, but we all know you're hot for Pecora, so... What? I'm sorry? Nothing! Thief shipping! Oh well, it is summer vacation! 
Oh, it's Jordan Merrick. Oh. 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 He's doing Merrick's voice. Oh. So hence the references. Oh. Oh. Let's go then! I'll pay for your ticket, of course, with my Millennium Rod! Let's hope that the, t that the ticket seller is named Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Port Island Station Movie Theater. Today, they're showing movies about the origin of modernism. <laughs> origin of modernism? This is a rare opportunity indeed! It's rare that movies like this are all played at once! I hope that you enjoy them as much as I will! I sensed a philosophical meaning behind the lines and development of the plot in the old movie. My academics increased. What wonderful movies! Those were as good as I was... What? This <laughs> Japanese pornography is really quite good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was it? <laughs> Japanese por <laughs> pornographic comic books. Yeah. The listings emphasize the way they'd present the origin of modernism, but they even showed silent films! That extent. Yeah, that was a line in Yu Gi Oh! Bridge. Sorry, go ahead, babe. That exchange was that the station was in trick. <laughs> <laughs> That exchange at the station was intriguing. It was clearly influenced by Western literature. And... Kutsky is talking by himself. Hmm? What's the matter, Binky boy? Why so quiet? Was it a bit much for you, seeing so many difficult movies all in a row? Hmm... Perhaps it's best to see movies about modernism in modernation. Ha. 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 Well then, let's go back. Okay, that's over. No, hold on. <coughs> oh, it's you. Why don't you have a seat? This bench is too big for me alone. Seems Zaki Nadi would like the pleasure of my company. Die fly. <laughs> would I like to sit and talk to him for a while? Ben, yes. You should have wanted the moths in this room a bit first. That was a fly, not a moth. That was a moth. No. It was on your pants. It's on your pants! Okay. There's a reason I don't kill them. I stunned it. Now please, Ben. Sorry. This bench shall be our meeting. Not like the others. 
What do you mean? I didn't expect to see you again. Usually people don't come back. Kanani smiled sadly. <laughs> He's dying by burps. <laughs> Your hands are cold. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they feel like death. Oh, I feel good, actually. I've vexed him before. Rachel, Nobody treats me like a normal guy. Not even my family. <laughs> my man, I need to cut. I can tell by how they <coughs> look at me. The pee in their eyes. I don't need their sympathy anymore. And I need their curiosity. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I don't expect anyone to pity me. Time isn't so unusual, is it? What is there to gain by staying in this world? <laughs> Doing that voice of like, <laughs> I don't think that way. <laughs> so, are you afraid that my hopelessness might be contagious if you stick around much longer? I didn't say that. I'm able to deal with it. <laughs> you will get. Nadi seems intrigued by me. Our friendship is stronger now. <sighs> Doing that voice hurts. <laughs> that is literally going to kill me. <laughs> no, it's not. Shut up. It's going to kill my throat, at least. <laughs> what did I do to desert this body? Okay. I need the hug for a reason. Okay. I need the hug for a reason. We both did hugs. Oh my god, that's my ear. Hi, I guess. Greetings. <laughs> I have a question. I have an answer. Why is school temporarily closed during the summer? Because it's hot. Interesting. But then school resumes the following month. I comprehend. Good. It's good that you comprehend. Hi, senpai. Good evening. Did something happen? Sorry, the, the speaker died. Can you say that again? Did something happen? What? You look like you've been crying. I'm okay. It's nothing. Alright. I suppose I shouldn't pry into your personal affairs any further. Pan, Japan, Japan. <laughs> Do you know if something happened to Junpei? I know. He's talking nonsense again. Something about Goliath Lolitas and. Goliath Lolitas? You mean Gothic Lolitas? Oh, right. That's the guy. Yeah, Gothic. What the I, fuck is I, that all about? Hi, Inkuski. Yeah. Oh, what's no, the matter? Oh wait, oh wait, is it still Merrick? It's still Merrick. Yes. What's the matter, douchebag? Fuck. <laughs> what's the matter, people? You're not darts. 
<laughs> what the? <laughs> You're not darts. <laughs> he was to Merrick, and then he did the instead of saying Binky Boy like Merrick does, he said douchebags like darts does. Douchebag. <laughs> What's the matter, Binky girl? Yeah. Oh, you think that I don't know anything about fashion because I'm a I'm a researcher, right? I did what? I happen to enjoy leather pants. No, I don't know. Good. You understand that it's not prudent to judge a person based on preconceptions. I'm I'm gonna go over there now. A certain pharaoh could learn to take a hint from you. What? I hate to say this, but the lost are increasing again. You should really consider strengthening the team. Now that Kodamadu has joined us, there are more members to choose from. You've already said this. Ken's still looking at that fashion magazine. Oh! Oh! Oh. Her face just lit up. Uh-huh. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger, Finn and R! Episode 27, The Gate of Hell Opens! Yeah, I don't know what that means. Shallow? Swallow. Swallow! Condor! Ow! No! And now the news. That was horrible. I could still hear it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ikoku. I'm sorry, Ikoku. I have to make you do him one more time. No! Heavy ready! I promise. I promise this time it's the last time tonight. No, I didn't want to talk to the apathy syndrome, dude. Uh... There's an apathy syndrome, dude, on the dance floor. Hold where? on. Where? Where? <laughs> right there. They're just like, ugh. Dancing zombies. How is that a thing? Thriller. <laughs> His face. He's. <laughs> 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 Don't look at this face! He's look! Seen... Focus on the fucking line! He's seen some shit. He's seen some shit. Read the fucking line! He's seen us dancing zombie. He's dumb. <laughs> Read your fucking line. Just do it. Oh! It's you! Hey! Can you help me out, kid? I don't feel so good. If you throw up, die. Damn it! I can't believe I let this happen. Ugh. Ugh, I'm in bad shape. Are you okay? I just told you I'm in bad shape, didn't I? Don't piss me off, kid. It makes my headache worse. Tatsu became angry. I'm not going to repeat myself. I completely forgot I have a memorial service to conduct. Reciting the Heart Sutra with the hangover. Ugh. Before, no matter how much I drank, all I needed was a cold shower to snap out of it. Guess I'm getting old, huh? It's times like these I wish I didn't live alone. What about your workers? Workers? Huh? You mean other monks? My temple's small, and I don't depend on nobody but myself, so I'm the only one there. 
Mutatu has a bitter smile on his face. If you think about it, living alone's probably the best thing a person could do. You don't have to wait for someone else to get out of the bathroom when you need to go. My son took forever in there. Yeah, living alone is the way to achieve peace and serenity. All things visible are bound to change and disappear. All things in this world are not singular. They're all smaller parts of a bigger picture. And yet, they're all, a, they're all different from each other. All things in this world are unique. To put it simply, no matter how hard you try to live your life right, someone else can always mess it up. All things are unique, yet they are not singular. Maybe you've messed up my life a bit too, <laughs> I saw through Mutatsu's harsh words and felt his kindness. Alright, you're, you're done with me. Uh, I'm going home, kid. My head's killing me. Oh yeah, about that memorial service. The kid was only 19. A random murder victim. What a harsh world we live in. You be careful on your way home, okay kid? Meanwhile, at the Iwatodai strip mall... Damn it. I'm tired of your nagging. I'm sorry. But this time, I'm not taking no for an answer. Well, the answer is the same. Well, the answer is still the same. I ain't going back. You know... Another Persona user joined us. And he's not even human. What? It's a dog. He lost his master six months ago because of the shadows. He's incredibly loyal. Up till now, he's been guarding the spot where his master was killed. Despite the bad memories. That moment, Ken came out from a nearby <clears throat> store. Oh! Oh! Uh huh. Oh, it's. Sanada san. Sanada. Sanada san! Uh, that's not Sanin. Yeah. Who is he talking to? Guess it'd be rude to butt in. We, we saw someone die right before our eyes, too. It's been two years since then. How long do you plan to beat yourself up over it? You're always at that spot behind the station, even though you don't hang out with the crowd there. Doesn't matter. It was my fault and it can't be erased. What difference does it make if I come to terms with it? It won't change anything. You can't change the past. You said you'd always be there for me. But you're not. And it's because of me. This isn't the same. Okay, Simba. This isn't the same as what happened to Miki. No. <laughs> 
wrong, Miki. <laughs> Shut up. Shinji. That's enough already. I just want to forget it ever happened. So, his name is Shinji, huh? And we're going to stop there tonight. Cliffhanger! Not really. Yeah. Alright, guys, we will see you next week for more Artinella Cook 2 and, and more, more Persona, Persona 3. Keep an eye out for upcoming videos. Mata Daishine? John S. Vader, bitches. Bye.